In this lesson, we're going to learn how to write an exponential function from an input and output table. Let's begin by recalling what an exponential function is. An exponential function is a function whose exponent is a variable. An exponential function takes on the form y equals a times b to the x power, where a represents the y-intercept, which is the value of y when x is zero, and b represents the factor or the number that you multiply by. In our first example, we want to write the exponential function that represents the given input and output table. Here it is. In order to do this, we need two things. We need to know the y-intercept, or the a value, and we need to know the factor, or the b value. Let's start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the y value that we find when x is zero. In our table, we look for the x value of 0 and find the corresponding y value. Here, that value is 2. So the a value, or the y-intercept, is 2. Now we need to determine the factor, the b value, and we need to decide what it is that we multiply by repeatedly to generate the outputs shown in the table. Here, the outputs go from 2 to 6 to 18 to 54. Sometimes you can determine the factor very easily. In this case, you might identify the factor as 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 3 is 54. Therefore, the factor, or b value, will be 3. But sometimes it's more difficult to figure out what that factor is. In those cases, you can use this little secret. b, the factor, equals the lower value divided by the upper value. When we go from 2 to 6, we take 6 divided by 2, lower, divided by upper, and we find 3. From 6 to 18, we take 18 divided by 6, lower, divided by upper, and we get 3. The same is true for the third pair. 54 divided by 18 is 3, so we can identify that the factor, or b value, is 3. Now that we know the y-intercept and the factor, we can write the equation. y equals a times b to the x is y equals 2 times 3 to the x power. We could choose to write this in function notation if we wanted, replacing y with f of x, and have f of x equals 2 times 3 to the x power. Either option is acceptable and is correct. Here's an example for you to try. Can you write a function that represents this input and output table? Remember, you need two things. You need to find the y-intercept, which is the y-value when x is 0, and you need to determine the factor, which is what we multiply by repeatedly. Please pause the video here, write the function, and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We begin by looking for the y-intercept. In the table, I look where the x-value is 0, and I find that the y value is 10, so the y-intercept must be 10. Now I need to determine the factor. What is the number that I'm multiplying by to produce the outputs? 5, 10, 20, 40, 80. It looks like we're multiplying by 2, and so the factor, b, will be 2. But if we weren't able to tell, we can always use the little formula the factor, b, equals the lower divided by the upper. From 5 to 10, we would take 10 divided by 5. That equals 2. From 10 to 20, we would take the lower 20 divided by 10. That equals 2. 20 to 40, 40 divided by 20 is 2. 40 to 80, 80 divided by 40 equals 2. So the factor is 2. Now that we know the a and b value, we can write the function y equals a times b to the x. y equals 10 times 2 to the x power. That's the equation that generates this input and output table. Remember, you could choose to use function notation f of x instead of y. f of x equals 10 times 2 to the x. In our next example, we're going to see something a little bit different. Look at the values in the y column. Notice they are not increasing, but rather are decreasing. 
That means our factor will be between 0 and 1. This is a decay function. We need to identify the y-intercept and the factor. We begin by looking at the table to find the y-intercept, which is located where x is 0. The y-intercept is 72. Next, we need to identify the factor. What are we multiplying by to go from 216 to 72 to 24 to 8? Well, if I'm not sure, I can use the little formula b equals lower divided by upper. 72 divided by 216 is 1 third. 24 divided by 72 is 1 third. 8 divided by 24 is 1 third. So the factor is 1 third. Keep in mind that when we speak about exponential functions, we're always talking about multiplication. You might think that we're dividing by 3 every time, but we need to think about division by 3 as multiplication by 1 third. Exponential functions are characterized by repeated multiplication. Now that we have the y-intercept and the factor, we can write the equation y equals 72 times 1 third to the x power, or we could use function notation to write that equation. Our last example is for you to try. This one looks a little bit different because we have decimals, but don't worry about that. Remember, we need to do the same thing that we've always done. We need to identify the y-intercept and the factor. If you're having trouble figuring out the factor, use the little formula that the factor b equals the lower divided by the upper number. Please pause the video here, write the function, and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We begin by looking for the y-intercept. The y-intercept is when x is 0, so the y-intercept is 0 0.1. Now we need to determine the factor. To determine the factor, we will simply use the little formula. We will do the lower divided by the upper, and each time we find that the factor is 1 half. So the factor is 1 half. We're now ready to write the equation. y equals a times b to the x power y equals 0.1 times 1 half to the x power. And of course, if you choose, you could write the function using function notation. That's everything you need to know in order to write the equation of an exponential function from an input and output table. Remember, you can learn more about exponential functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.